Welcome back to Defender's Voice. I am Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Please send me your questions to info at drpaul.org. Visit my website at www.drpaul.org to subscribe to my podcast and to read my articles. Today's question is, Lesa Daftari got cancelled at Rutgers University. What is the future of free speech in our universities? Excellent question. To introduce, Lesa Daftari is a journalist focusing on Middle Eastern affairs. She works for Fox News Channel. She is an Iranian Jew. Iran and Israel are enemies. She supports Israel. She criticizes Islamic terrorism. She wrote that uh, Muslim terrorists get their inspiration from the Quran. That irritated many Muslim students. She was supposed to speak at an event at Rutgers University. The Muslim students from Pakistan got her cancelled. Iranian Jew cancelled by Muslims from Pakistan in an American university. Culture wars are going global in our times. Free speech is under unprecedented assault in our time. The secular left poses a big threat to freedom of speech in the university today. Opposing views are not tolerated. They are suppressed. Critical opinions are outlawed. The left and Muslim radicals have become strange bedfellows. Left pretends to stand for the rights of the minorities. Muslim nations, at least most of them, are well-known oppressors of the minorities. The left cares about LGBTQI rights. Yet when Taliban said uh, they will not allow women to go out without head to toe burqa covering, or when the Taliban said they would impose death penalty for homosexuals, there is no outrage from the secular left. Israel and India, both countries, allow gay parade rallies in their cities. Take a world map. Go through countries between India and Israel. They are all Muslim nations. Not one of them would allow a gay parade in their cities. Israel and India give more freedom to these minorities than Muslim nations. The progressives and Muslim radicals have joined hands in suppressing free speech. Whether you agree with her or not, Lesa Daftari is entitled to her opinions and she should be able to go to any university or college or school campus to express her opinions for denying that right to her. The Rutgers University officials should be ashamed of themselves. Jesus Christ our Lord once said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. It is the truth that brings freedom. When people don't have truth, that means they are in bondage. When you believe you have the truth, you should not be afraid of diverse opinions. You should not be afraid of people who challenge your ideas. That was what the university was supposed to be. Unity in diversity. We go there with diverse opinions, with commitment to discover the truth. Sadly, truth is not the concern for many academics in our time. They are consumed by their own utopias and ideologies. The progressives and Muslim radicals are facing a new enemy, Jews and Hindus. Jews who support Israel and Hindus who support India are changing many college campuses in our time. The progressives and Muslim radicals are somewhat successful in suppressing the right-leaning conservatives of America, but they may not get what they want when they face new uh, threat, these Hindu students. If Jewish students want to organize an event in support of Israel, they are facing violent threats or boycotts on our college campuses. That is what happened to Lesa Daftari. She supports Israel and she is not uh, welcome. Are you a Jew? If you say yes, you might be attacked in some places in America. Every time Palestinian issue flares up, Jews in America are facing threats. Every time Israel-Palestine issue burns up, Jews and Muslims, their bitterness is coming new. 
Hindus may face similar circumstances in our time. Every time Kashmir issue flares up, Hindu-Muslim fights might intensify. Lesa Daftare, a Jewish scholar, is not allowed to express her support for Israel. Is that not anti-Semitism? A professor at Rutgers University started a program called Dismantling Global Hindutva. Dismantling Global Hindutva. No professor would start a program titled Dismantling Global Islamism. From Afghanistan to Nigeria to Europe, Islamist violence is the most serious threat to public safety in modern world. Yet our university officials don't worry about it. Dismantling global Hindutva is allowed. Dismantling global Jainism is allowed. But dismantling global Islamism is not allowed. That is the cowardice of academics in our university campuses today. But overall, I have to say I am glad about these developments in our university campuses. Hundreds of thousands of students from all over the world now attend American universities. They bring their own views, diverse opinions. They pose a big challenge to Islamists and progressives. Pro-Israel Jews are not going to put up with them. Pro-India, pro-Narendra Modi Hindus are not going to keep quiet when their views are suppressed. In recent times, we can see pro-Israel Jews and uh, pro-India Hindus joining hands for the freedom of speech in college campuses. The progressives and Islamists will find a formidable enemy in this uh, new Hindu-Jewish coalition. Progressives and Muslim students should stop protesting when right-leaning conservatives would like to come to their campuses and present their opinions. Well, whoever that is, right-leaning Donald Trump from America, or right-leaning uh, Benjamin Netanyahu from Israel, or right-leaning Narendra Modi from India, or Bolsonaro from Brazil, whoever it is, they should have a right to express their opinions in any college campus. If universities try to oppress free speech and diverse opinions, people will lose confidence in these universities. Progressive professors would look like lightweight charlatans. Muslim radicals would look like narrow-minded bigots. So overall, I am happy with these developments. You cannot suppress free speech forever. For now, progressives and Muslim radicals joined hands to suppress free speech in college campuses. I am not surprised Hitler and Stalin were friends for some time. Then when their interests collided, they went after each other's throat. They attacked each other fiercely. Totalitarian systems may tolerate each other for a while, but eventually they will collide with each other. The friendship between progressives and Muslim radicals may become uncomfortable in the near future. Even if it does not, there is nothing to worry because as Jesus Christ our Lord said, we should know the truth and the truth shall make us free. Truth brings freedom. Ultimate victory belongs to truth. Ultimate victory belongs to God. Ultimate victory belongs to Messiah, our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, folks, that is my answer to your question. If you have uh, um, any other views, please share in the comment section. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.